Hello and welcome back to the TAPD demo series. I'm Hannah with Lightning Labs and this is a series of short demo videos walking through using the Taproot Assets daemon TAPD from Mint to Send all the way through to Burn. Um, and at this point in the series we've already installed three different ways and we've joined some universes so finally we are ready to mint some assets and we'll start by doing that via the CLI. I want to make uh, a couple of notes here. Um, as we when we mint assets, right, we are creating all of this data about these assets, and then we're committing to them on the Bitcoin blockchain. And that means we have to make a transaction on the Bitcoin blockchain. So we have to have some Satoshis in our wallets in order to be able to do that. If you're in the process of minting and you run across an error that looks like you know unable to fund PSVT or something of that variety. Probably either you don't have any funds in your LND wallet, or perhaps you had all your funds in one UTXO, you sent a transaction and you need to wait for that change transaction to come back to you and be confirmed. So just something um, to keep an eye out for, make sure you have spendable UTXOs in your wallet uh, before you try and mint something. All right, so let's get right into it. First, what we'll do is because here we're demoing, uh, doing this via the CLI in the command line interface. So we'll start with a simple command, which is just tap CLI assets list. And we can see at the moment we have zero assets and we'll fix that now. So let me show you this command and we'll walk through it here. All right, so this command is tap CLI assets mint, and then we have data about our particular asset. We are minting an asset of type normal, which basically means it's fungible, right? We can mint, uh, you know, we're going to make 100 of these CLI demo bucks, um, and they'll all be, you know, fungible with one another. So the examples or the use case we can think about here is minting something like a stable coin. So we're going to start um, minting our CLI demo bucks. And then in the future, we we'll want to be we want to be able to mint further rounds of demo bucks and then perhaps um, burn them, which we'll discuss in a later video. But here I want to show you how to mint assets such that you can mint more of this particular type of asset in the future. So how we do that is we start here with type normal. Um, if you wanted to mint something that was unique, a collectible, then we would change this from normal to collectible. And in the docs at docs.lightning.engineering, you can read more about how to do that. We're going to give it a name. And since I'm just a terribly creative person, this is CLI demo books, right? And our supply is just a very simple 100. And here is the really important part is we have to set this flag, enable mission. So what this will do is tell um, our TAPD node that it needs to create a group key that will allow us to mint more assets, which the protocol will consider to be also CLI demo books, right? Fungible with this particular um, mint that we're doing here. So this is very important, enable emissions, and I'll show you, uh, we'll demo minting uh, another round of this particular asset, and then we'll use a group key because this enable missions flag tells uh, TAPD to create that group key for us. All right, one more thing that I want to note here is that when minting on the CLI, it is also possible um, to add some metadata. So we might do that with a flag, say right about here, that might look something um, like this. So we say metabytes, and then this here is just a little bit of text that's been formatted as hex. Now, I won't dig into this here. Um, perhaps if you're interested in metadata, we can create another video on how to do that. But I will note that you can add metadata to assets when minting on the command line and that there's a number of different ways to do it. It just doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to just be text um, formatted as hex like I'm showing here, but that's one way to do it. And there are many other ways to do it. All right, so let's run this command. Excellent. So what it's done here is look at this state batch state pending. So what this means is that TAPD has uh, created all sorts of data um, for this particular asset, right? Created all these Merkle trees, et cetera. It's prepped all of this data to be committed to on the Bitcoin blockchain, but it hasn't actually made that on-chain transaction just yet. So what's cool about this, about doing this in batches, is that I could mint all kinds of different assets in one single on-chain transaction. 
So here I'm minting CLI demo bucks, but I could also mint, you know, some HANA coin or, you know, a, a later we'll do, you know, API demo bucks, right? And I could mint all of these things together in one on-chain transaction. So that's really cool. It saves us lots of, you know, block space fees, et cetera. Um, but after we do this, after we prep our batch, we have to spell correctly, all right? And then we can run another command which looks like this. So this command here um, tells TAPD to you know, work with LND and to go out and take all that data and commit to it on the Bitcoin blockchain. So whatever is in our batch, in this example, it's just the one asset, but however many assets are in our batch, it will go and take all that data and commit to it on the Bitcoin blockchain. So tap CLI assets mint to finalize. So let's run that. Awesome. So let's look at what that did for us. We have um, a transaction ID. It tells us the state is batch state broadcast. Um, we have a group key. That's awesome. And we have all kinds of different, uh, all kinds of information about this asset. So let's go back again and run that asset list command. Assets list. Cool. Look at all this different data we get about this asset. So what we want to do here, because in this particular example, we've you know now minted one round of CLI demo bucks and we, we created a group key and we're going to then want to go and mint another round of CLI demo bucks. So we're looking here for this tweaked group key right here. And I'm going to copy this data. Am I getting that all? Yep. Okay, cool. I'm going to copy this and I'm just going to note it here, paste that into some notes. And what we can do then um, is try minting another round of this. But before we do that, I want to show you a um, quick command, which is pretty handy. When you run that assets uh, list command, it gives you all kinds of data, which is great because sometimes you want a ton of data like that tweaked group key. But sometimes you just want to know, hey, what do I actually got on this node? What do I own on this particular node right now? And this command, tap CLI assets balance, just shows you a much brief, uh, much shorter summary of what you have, which can be much more easily readable um, and helpful if you just want to remember what you got going on or review what, what you got on here. So balance is 100, here's our asset ID, right? We got Genesis point, all kinds of different information, but much more abbreviated just to help you remember what's on there. Uh, so let's clear that out. And then we'll look at our next command. We're minting another round, another round of our CLI demo box. So just a sec while I copy and paste here. All right, so let's look at this. Tap CLI assets mint, again, type normal, name the same, CLI demo box, supply, we're just doing another 100. And then here it's important to note, this is where we add our group key, that tweaked group key that we grabbed out of um, our asset data when we ran the assets list command. Cool. So we're going to run this and hopefully this will prep for us another batch, which we can then commit to on the Bitcoin blockchain. Awesome. And it did just that, right? We have this other batch and we're ready to attempt to commit to this on the Bitcoin blockchain. And so again, the command that we need to run is this finalize command, tap CLI assets mint finalize. Awesome. Look at that. We have CLI demo bucks. So now we should have two rounds of this. And if we just go up here, there we go. We can go back to this uh, tap CLI assets balance and see what we have. Excellent. We have two different rounds of this CLI demo bucks for a total of 200. Very cool. All right. So to summarize here, 
Um, what we have done is we have minted some assets, in this case of type normal. We have minted some normal assets um, using the CLI, and we've minted CLI demo bucks um, in two different rounds using our group key. So as always, um, if you'd like more information, head over to the docs at docs.lightning.engineering, and I'll see you in the next one.